In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix tickets not showing up in your Apple wallet. It can be frustrating when you've bought a ticket and it's nowhere to be found, but don't worry, I've got you covered with a few simple steps to get everything back in place. First off, let's make sure the ticket was actually added in the first place. Sometimes we think we've completed the process, but a quick revisit to the source can clear up any oversight. Open up the email, app, or website where you initially bought the ticket from. Take a moment to tap Add to Apple Wallet again. Once you've tapped that, make sure to hit Add on the preview screen. It's easy to miss and this ensures that your ticket is stored in your wallet. Now if you're still not seeing your ticket, let's check the Wallet app directly. Open up the Wallet app manually on your iPhone. Take a close look through all the passes you have saved. Sometimes tickets do end up being added but don't appear automatically, so a quick manual check could resolve the issue right there. Next up, date and time settings can also play a part in this hiccup. Head on over to settings, then general, and tap on date and time. Here, you'll want to make sure the option set automatically is enabled. Incorrect time settings could potentially hide those crucial time sensitive passes, and enabling this feature ensures everything stays synchronized. Moving on, let's talk about keeping your iPhone software updated. Go into settings, general, and then software update. It's important to have your device running the latest iOS version for the best compatibility with new features and bug fixes. This might not seem directly related, but sometimes an update can iron out glitches causing the issue. Another factor that could impact your ticket showing up is location services. In settings, go to privacy and security, and then location services. Make sure location services is turned on. Then scroll to wallet and set it to either while using the app or always. Enabling location services can sometimes help these passes populate correctly. And if all else fails, never underestimate the power of a simple restart. Restarting your iPhone can refresh the behavior of your apps, including the Wallet app, making everything run just that bit smoother. Hopefully these steps have helped solve your Apple Wallet issue. It's never fun when technology doesn't work as expected, but a little troubleshooting usually does the trick. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back for more tips and tricks.